Hello the YouTubes, Ash back once again with a sort of a bonus video I suppose um, Today the postman knocked on the door and handed me this box Which it turns out is another taffy nail box. I wasn't expecting them to send me another one this month, so Thank you very much. I, I hope it continues because if I'm being totally honest It was the best my favorite box that I unboxed in March, so Really excited to see what's in this. Like I said, didn't know I was getting it caught a little bit off guard, but I am chuffed nonetheless. More perceptive of you might have noticed that since yesterday's video I've undergone a couple of changes, i.e. the fluff and the fluff and the glimmers. I had to get rid of the beard because I was watching the video back I did yesterday, the Noob Cube unboxing. And uh, a little patch of grey that I have in my beard didn't show up well on camera and it, it looked like gentleman's relish. It looked like I'd been up to some sordid things. So it had to go. It had to. And the glasses thing is, I got contacts the other week and I'm still in the phase of getting used to them, but I thought I would uh, try them out on the video and see how much of a dick I look. But anyway, let's stop messing about. I've got a pub to go to. But first, I want to see what is in this box. As I say, I'm totally surprised. Um, I'm pleased. I, I'm, like I say, if they're... Like I say, like I say, like I say. If Taffy Mill want to keep sending me these boxes, I will happily keep doing videos for you. Not a problem. Ooh. Right, let's start out with something familiar that I have heard of and possibly tried before. Mike and Ike's Tropical Typhoon Mike and Ike's. I've had these, not these exact ones, but uh, versions of that I think we had over here for a while. So I've tried them before, like soft, chewy things, sort of like jelly beans type stuff. Oh, classics. Nerds. I used to love nerds as a youth. Um, peach and wild berry. Haven't had these nerds before. Look, can't wait to get into those. I'm going to try and build a stack up here without... That's Jenga. That's sound language for Jenga. Jolly Rancher Chews, I've had these before and they are delicious. Green Apple, Watermelon, Cherry and Blue Raspberry, I love all of them. Love them all. Ooh, a Milky Way Simply Caramel Bunny. Milk chocolate filled with creamy caramel. I love caramel. Love it. Snickers crispier. What the hell? Crisp rice, milk, chocolate, caramel, peanuts. Two squares. All right, like so. Two little bits of snicker in there with um, rice krispies in, essentially. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know they did those. America gets some good stuff. Oh, now this is convenient. Turtles, bite sized turtle. Now, I was watching Matthew Santoro the other day and he was. Um, doing taste test on Texan uh, sweets and that and he was biting into this thing that looked amazing and he said oh, it's just like a turtle you know turtles no we don't but I soon will I can't wait to try that because that thing that Santoro was eating looked amazing baked snacks real cheese combos don't know what these are cheddar cheese cracker Right, I don't know if you can see. <coughs> there, look like little little cheese biscuits. I'm not sure about those. I, I love cheese. I love biscuits, but cheese biscuits I'm kind of on the fence with. Here's one for Daz Black if you watch him. Tootsie Roll. I think I've had them before as well. As for calling it a roll, it's quite square. It's not going to roll very far. Oh, hang on. The packet square. The thing inside the actual Tootsie Roll will roll. It will roll. Now I feel like a tit. We've got a carton of yoo -Hoo, which I know from the film Kingpin. Sweeter than yoo -Hoo. It's just a, like a chocolate milkshake. I might try that or I might give it to one of the kids. See what kind of generous kind of mood I'm in, kind of. Days for the best since 1946 beverages. Pineapple soda. Pineapple soda. Yeah, I 
the pineapple grifter it works with a lilt, so pineapple, fizzy pineapple. Don't have a problem with that. Rice crispy treats blasted with mini MMs. Interesting. Who doesn't like rice crispy squares? And who doesn't like MMs? Probably a lot of people. But you get what I mean. And finally, we have a box of Milk Duds, the most apologetic of the boxed candies, according to Sheldon Cooper. Chocolate and caramel. I've wanted to try these for a while, so I'm actually going to try one on camera. Because I realise I do these unboxings, and I never actually tell you what I think of any of the stuff in. Incidentally, the uh, everything in the last Taffy Mail, pretty much spot on. The only thing I wasn't keen on was the snowball. The snowball I was very excited about trying. Wasn't a fan in the end. It's got cake in the middle. It doesn't feel right. But everything else was amazing. So here we go. Milk dud taste test. There they are. Very well shaped. Like literally just thrown together. Puppets, that's what they are. Slightly bigger puppets. There you go. Well, I'm going to be enjoying that for hours to come. So that is Taffy Mail again this month. I, I can't wait to try all of it. There's nothing in there that's made me go, meh, meh. And a few things. Well, so for these, there I was a bit, I'm a bit meh about them. But could be a taste sensation. You never know. So let me know what did you think of this box? Is there anything in here that you really like the look of? Anything that made you want to vomit in your own mouth and chew it back down? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to try out Taffy Mail for yourself, there will be a link in the description below, as well as a link to uh, my PayPal. And here comes the begging bit. I did set up a Patreon, and I did get a backer on there, and it just didn't work. And so, to kind of cut all the middleman out and all the confusion and having to back me per whatever, all I'm going to do is just leave my PayPal in the description below. And if you want to send me some coin so that I can get more of these boxes and do more of these videos, that's absolutely great. Thank you very much. If you don't, doesn't matter. I won't fall out with you over it. It's just that I'm a bit skint and I love doing this. I love unboxing these for you. Some of you enjoy watching them. So if you wanted to continue, I need help. Basically, it sounds like I'm a beggar on the street with my cup out, but that's just the way life is at the minute for me. But as I've said, don't feel that you have to. I will not fall out. If, and if I never get a penny off any of you, I'll still be happy man and I'll still do as many of these as I can. But if you have liked this video please do hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, tell your friends, tell your family, but don't tell me mum and I will see you next time.